Hey guys, Trey Happy John coming at you with another Infinite Magic Raid video. All right, on this one, we're going to go ahead and I want to talk about the summons. Let's go ahead and let's try to do, we have a few miracle wishes. I'm going to try it. We probably won't get anything, uh, but I'm very curious about this character that they just launched with these, this event. And honestly, I'm, it's one of those situations again, where we're talking about an event with an exclusive character. And I don't think this, this character is going to be added to the pool. And I, I don't know guys. This, this seems a little sketchy. All right, guys. So first things first, uh, don't forget my Aptoid uh, link is down below in the description and in the pinned comment. Make sure to use that when you're downloading Infinite Magic Grade so that way you can get 25% back of all your purchases. Uh, so that way, as you spend like $100, right, you get $25 back on that, right? When you spend $400, you get a uh, full $100 back. Uh, so definitely make sure that you're utilizing it so that way you guys get the most luck for your buck when you're trying to spend money and the reason why i say that is because this event is it's one of those situations where this event is a pretty decent event honestly it wasn't structured bad i do have to go ahead and i have to finish up the uh holiday challenge i gotta go ahead and i should probably start pushing this right uh, as we're getting closer to the end of the event i should really start pushing this to get up there and and get the rewards which is basically the diamonds right uh, these diamonds would definitely be helpful on my account because I am free to play. Unfortunately, I'm not spending any money and getting any money back with my promo code, which sucks. But it is what it is. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do these monster neons. I absolutely hate these. I think these are just terrible. I, I don't know why. I don't know why games like these put these in there. Um, because I don't want to play a puzzle. If I wanted to play a puzzle game, I could play a puzzle game or an RPG. Like I don't want to solve a puzzle for these. So I, I just. I don't think those are fun mini games by any means. I haven't really done them. I should, but I haven't done them. But let's talk about the champion, right? So let's talk about this guy right here. Uh, very good champion. Honestly, this Miracle Wish lineup is pretty decent. We've got um, uh, Pollen, amazing champion. We have Melia. Everyone knows Melia is amazing. I did a video on her. She's so broken. Uh, we got S Slavil. I know she's already very, very good. I had her, um, and then especially if I could get an exclusive her, of her. That would be really, really, really cool, right? That'd be awesome. She'd be super powerful at that point. Um, and then not to mention, we also have Nidroll, who's not a bad champion either. He's a good bleed champion, right? Um, definitely not not terrible, but worth getting. Um, Igor, I honestly don't know too much about Igor. I know I don't personally need him on my account because I know he's, he's pretty much, I think he's just a single target nuker, I believe, if I remember. Um, he's Force Mark, which is great, but I got Zaya, so it's not like I, I need him. But overall, not bad. But this guy here, I feel like I don't like that he's exclusive um, to just this event. I absolutely hate it when they do those types of things. Look at his kit. Increase all allies max HP cap by 50% for two turns. Mind you, this is a five turn ability. Book down to four turn cooldown, right? Um, and then if you get one more of him, I want to say... Uh, yeah, well, gains one more turn after casting down here. So basically this turns into a, from a four turn to a three turn cooldown once you get an exclusive three because we'll get to go one more time so that'll automatically start clicking the town the cooldown timer back up one so um definitely very very good broken ability because it increases max hp by 50 percent and restores their hp by 16 percent of pollen's max hp and you're going to build him strictly hp anyway so he's going to be super tanky and so you're gonna basically allow them to exceed their cap, right? Which is just huge. Like that's gonna be really good and really helpful. And they're gonna be in stealth afterwards. Um, and then come over here to, he's immune to control effects. Um, if self effector is, is not below 100%. So basically you give him 100% res, uh, anything, any any type of effect hit with him, it won't happen, it's fine. Uh, it's a good target number to hit. Overall, pretty good, right? Then also increases self turn meter by 20% and other allies turn meters by 10%. Besides, Pollen increases self extra tenacity by 50% for self initial re effect resistance up to 63%. So basically, what he's doing is he's uh, he's pretty much just buffing himself so you don't have to get him as high to that 100%, right? Um, increase all allies defense by 60% and tenacity by 60% for two turns. Pollen additionally gains damage immunity. Um, that's broken. So basically he's going to do like, Hey, I'm going to save you all, put you all in this great, uh, defensive bubble and, uh, resistance bubble essentially. And then on top of that, uh, I'm not going to take any damage. Well, like it's kind of broken. 
this A1 is literally, he's a stripper on the A1. It's an AOE deal, right? Like, this guy's actually, in my opinion, kind of broken. He's kind of broken. He's got heal, he's got turn meter, he's got cleanse. He's got all every, all that going for him. And on top of it all, he's forced Annie's Dragon Tribe. He's literally the solution to the Dragon Tribe faction. Uh, keep, like, he's literally, this is the one. This is, this is the, this is the Neo uh, of the, of the Miracle Wish. Honestly, uh, anyone who did get him got very, very lucky. I'm going to be a little jealous of you. Uh, let's see if we can't get a summon. I usually have terrible luck with these. I, I don't know where, I don't even know when the last time I summoned a champion on these banners like a, a Lego. Um, but yeah, I have the God awful luck when it comes to pulling on Miracle Wishes. Uh, as you saw there, we're already out of them. Let's see if we can't go buy some real quick, right? Like by going in here and then we'll go, uh, resource store. Yeah, there we go. We'll just buy one. How much is it for a 10 popper? We can do 10, I think. Yeah, let's do 10. I don't want to use all my diamonds because I need that for energy and other things just in case sometimes. Uh, so let's do that. So it gives us 20 more. Let's go ahead and let's pull another 20. See what we get. We did get a lot of epics, which is cool. Uh, that's a new one for me. Anton, he's forced, cleanse. Okay, so interesting uh, mark down there. We'll have to check that out on them later. All right, let's try the try this one. Okay, we got a Reeves. Reeves is a, a, is it a bad one to pick up? I mean, at least then it gives me another exclusive for him, right? Um, I don't like um, I don't like that the, I have 102 left of this. Like, how many more do I really need here to make this work? That's the that's the real question. Like, how many more? Uh, cause yeah, I mean, if I go all of them, I can only get 17 more. Let's just grab, we'll do 10 more and that's it. 10 more and no more after this. We're done after this one. Um, yeah, I wanted to double check. I didn't want a five star to show up right there. That would be terrible. Uh, last pull, nothing. Um, and you know what? That's, that's about what I would expect. So that basically means I'm not going to get this champion, uh, when I'll never get him. Uh, and that's where this this kind of stuff really irritates me because it's literally it says right here spring festival time limited event um don't gatekeep champions like that it's such a it's such a sleazy way to do things honestly it is um it's it's stuff like that that kind of deters me from wanting to play the game not gonna lie uh, I, I don't think a lot of people realize that the reason why games like this do so many frequent um so many frequent events so to speak actually you know what i don't want to do that right now because i don't think there's a leveling up in it, right oh there is a hero training there's hero training okay we'll go ahead and do that um but it's, it's one of those situations where i don't think people realize like when they do these types of special events and special packs they're really banking on them and they set them up in a way uh for fomo right and i hate that for people because i don't want people to feel like they're possibly missing out and not getting something right like that's so like honestly it's kind of Kind of a hoodwink. Uh, we'll buy five more just to go with that. So we got a full 10 popper. Boom. Oh, I should have done that. I should have done that. But once again, FOMO got me. So then I had to summon because I wanted to try to get this ball in. Like, it's stuff like that. Like, that was a bad decision I just made on my account. But you know what? I'm not the only one who made that this weekend because of this event. And that's what I don't like about it. Because you're not going to be able to get Paul in again. This is it. This is the last chance. Uh, the way they've got this event structured, uh, it's, it's all or nothing right now. And maybe next year we'll get them back. Uh, typically, that's the way these games go. But let's honest, be honest here. The shelf life of these types of games is a year. Um, and so is IMR still going to be like this next year? Maybe not. And are they going to... Ooh, my eggs. There we go. That's awesome. That that was actually a good pull right there. I'll take that. I'll take a Maya. Um, but like, are they going to actually remember to release those champions again? Probably not. Right? Uh, probably not. Oh, nice. That'll give her a good boost there and speed. I'll take it. Okay. Um, but it's just one of those situations where people don't think about that a whole lot. Like, that's not something that, that crosses their mind a crap ton. And it's kind of unfortunate. Like, I wish it did because that's, like, going to deter even me from wanting to play. Like, I don't want to play the subject games where I feel like I got to do this to, to progress. Or, um, you know what I mean? Or, like, oh, no, I got to spend money to get this champion because I'm not going to be able to get him again. Like, I'm playing, um, for example, I'm playing Waking Chaos Era, right? They've got an exclusive crossover right now with Attack on Titan. I'm a nerd. I love Attack on Titan. It's it's probably one of my favorite animes. It's like, it's up there, right? Like, it's a good anime to watch. Um, I like it. And I came back to Ace because of it. 
I spent a couple of dollars on the game. Well, make, one to make a YouTube video, but two, because I wanted to get the champions. Like that part of it right there, that's the problem, is the simple fact that I knew I was never gonna get another chance to get that champion because they still have to renew it in a year from there, right? So it's no different than this game. Luckily, it's not like with anything too special, like people who aren't, um, you know what I mean? Like these aren't exclusive, like crossover type champions, but the way they've got it all structured, it just doesn't make it conducive to, to really making things great, I guess we'll say, um, because it can really mess with the balance, I wanna say. Um, I, I guess I don't have a better way of explaining it to you guys, which is kind of unfortunate because I, I do feel like it's a topic that we really need to kind of converse and really dive into because if we don't get them to stop, it's, it's only going to get worse, right? Like if you don't set boundaries, if you don't set uh, reasonable expectations, like it's only going to get worse. Um, he's exclusive. You know what? Let's go ahead and get his exclusive up too. Um, but yeah, it's just simple stuff like that. And I mean, I'm enjoying the game. Don't get me wrong. The game is fun. It's not a bad game by any means. Um, and I would tell you if I thought it was. If I thought the game was crap, I'd tell you. Uh, but no, the game's been fine. The game's fun. Uh, it's just one of those situations where we got to kind of, we got to rein them back a little bit. And I'm not sure how to do it, guys. So please, I hope that you guys aren't going wailing out too awful much. But make sure you guys are getting Pollen because he's a pretty good champion. Um, it's definitely, definitely worth getting. Uh, very broken in my opinion like there's a lot of reasons to get them but uh keep that in mind when you're trying to pick and choose what champions you really want to get or what champions you want to accrue uh you should definitely be on your top list that's that's for sure overall though um the changes so far in the game have been pretty good like the the events have been good i, I like this new screen that they gave us like this whole look at right here like this is pretty cool this is so much better than what it was uh, when it was over here and then it was like the drop down, like that was really irritating. This is nice, simple, clean, looks elegant, right? It looks very, very easy to see. Um, as you can see here, Supreme Wish Legend Hero rate. So basically chance of drawing Legend Heroes and Supreme Wish will increase during the event. Um, that's cool, but they're, they're, they're trying to go way too hard on the summons to grab money. It's like, it's like a m money grab and I don't like, they can't keep going this way. This is going to end badly. This is going to end badly for the game. It's going to kill the game. Um, and it may not kill the game, but it's going to kill it for me. I can tell you that hands down because I'm not wailing out on this game. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not. But I don't want you guys to either. It's not It's not something you should do. Feel like feel empowered to uh, contribute to the, to the developers, right? To show them, hey, you like their game. But no, don't wail out and break the bank for, for these types of games, guys. I did it. Um, I can tell you right now, I got a little bit of buyer's remorse from that. And I don't want to see you guys do it too. But overall, we didn't get Pollen. Bummer. Don't waste all your guys' stuff for him. Uh, he's exclusive. Keep in mind, you can't use pots to level him up. So he's going to be harder. So you have to get duplicates of him. Uh, so it's kind of, it's really all or nothing type of deal. And it's going to cost you a crap load to really get him and use him very effectively. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. I'm going to try to get back on making daily IMR content. I'm, or content. I know I skipped a couple of days because of Ace. But I'm going to try to get back on the grind. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.